Hey crew, how's it going? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Sylvanas the Ranger Let's Play. Um, basically what I'm doing just at the moment is uh, taking some time to farm some Souls of Flight to uh, get our wings. You need 20 to make a set of wings. And then just depending what type of wings you want to make, you, know, you need different things. So the basic wings, which are angel ones, just need 20 souls of flight and 25 souls of light. Um, so I'll either make them or I think it's pixie wings, which just need pixie dust. So they're probably two of the easier ones to make. Uh, the reason I'm going to record it is I was saying last video how a lot of Let's Players, they, you know, say they're doing a playthrough and then don't show you doing the actual hard work. Um, so I want to prove that it's possible to kill the Wyvern with using an Archer character. So, <clears throat> like you saw last video, we got some Titanium gear and I made an Arichalcum Breastplate, which gives us 41 defense, but believe me, we need it against the Wyvern. And I just built... <laughs> I thought I built a good sky bridge. It's just a little bit too short. And the point of this is quickly getting up to... Uh, space level where the wyverns actually spawn. So, just while I was waiting, I was making it a bit higher. Apparently, the higher you go, the more likely they are to spawn. Also, I'm collecting harpy feathers while I do it. So, you know, worst case, I'll just make harpy wings. Whoa, space. So, all I've got here is just a really quick and easy platform. And the point of using the platforms is you can quickly drop through it if the Wyvern attacks you, which is what you want to happen as quick as possible. Uh, so yeah, and you can be farming harpies while you do it. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Apparently if you're up here in space, the Wyvern's got a really good chance of spawning. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also... Oh, I didn't bring any more archery potions. I was using archery potions just to increase our damage. But uh, it's not not critical. It just makes it die a bit quicker. Alright, I think this is high enough. I mean, that's the top of the map right there. So, cool. Come on, Mr. Wyvern. Where are you? Where are you? Alright, let's just make a bit of a catwalk each side, just so, sometimes it seems moving around can help a bit. I'll drop between the two levels. Another reason I really want the wings is because they prevent fall damage, which, you know, is becoming, uh, be something really nice and handy. So yeah, so the wyvern can take a little bit to spawn. So you just sort of keep moving around, giving it a chance to uh, to spawn. I think standing in the one spot doesn't seem to help. You can really notice the gravity uh, is a lot lower in space, which I think is a nice touch. It's very cool. Okay, where are ya? Oh, Ivan. So I've got 13 souls of flight, so... I think Wyverns drop between about 5 and 10. So hopefully one more will give us enough. I think the way the spawning works is the Harpies obviously have a good chance of spawning and then every so often, you know, maybe 1 in 20 or 30 or less even still has a chance to spawn as a Wyvern instead. It also seems there can't be more than one Wyvern on the screen at once. Okay, come on. Hmm. If one doesn't spawn soon... Ah, here we go. Alright. So what I then do is I drop back down to this little arena I've got ready. And pretty much all you do is just keep firing. And if you can, you get used to the timing, you can just run underneath it each time. 
and just, just avoid damage. If you get the timing wrong, you'll get hit. And the reason I keep shooting is you keep getting hits in while it's off screen. And that's basically all there is to it. It will take you, I'm making it look easy. It, believe me, I died a bit at first. And like this, I fell out of the timing, so it's gonna try and get back into it. Ah! <laughs> okay, we'll try and run underneath it. There we go. And that's all it is. And I've got the campfire and a heart lantern set up for a bit of regen. So you can see my health going up pretty quick. And there we go. Now, the solar flight will spawn wherever the head is. Cool, I've got 20. Nice. And then just to check what we can make. So using the feathers, I can, I need 25 souls of light, which I'll need to go, you get them in the hallow underground. I don't think the demon rings will really go with our character. Yeah, I'll probably just go and get the angel wings, I reckon. Okay, so I need one more harpy feather, which I'll go get now. And 25, was it? 25, okay. Looks like I've got a little bit of grinding to do, so I'll do that off camera. Um, the purpose of showing you that was just to show it can be done with an archer. Um, and that wyvern does hit like a, like a truck, so... Yeah, you really need to have your armor pretty high or be really good at dodging. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching crew. Uh, leave a like or subscribe if this helped you a bit. Especially if you're role, role playing an archer character like I am. And I'll see you next video. Thanks crew, bye. Welcome back crew, this is Happy Days. And here we go with our Sylvanas the Ranger Terraria playthrough. So, I finally think I have harvested enough titanium ore. It took a fair while. And there's no real quick way to do it. You've just got to, you know, if you're lucky enough to find some mining potions, that's good. Um, you know, if you've got wings, that's good because you can fly around easy. So it made it easier to fly up and down in the underworld. So, I finally got enough. I'm pretty sure. So let's turn it all into bars. Now, I'm just going to do a quick test. I was mining a ritual cam, not for using it, but for selling it. I thought if I'm down there anyway. So let's see, there's four, 20, 52. So you actually get more value out of a ritual cam if you sell it in its ore form. So let's sell the ore, 20 gold, nice. It seems a waste though, there's easier ways to earn gold than that. Although I want to do a bit of reforging when I get the uh, titanium repeater. So, let's, put, let's get all our bars. So I need to make a chest breastplate and a repeater. So hopefully I've got enough. 26 and I'm pretty sure the repeater's only about 10. 13, 26, 40. Oh, no, 39. Oh, thank God. Holy moly. I didn't want to do any more, <laughs> any more mining. Okay, I cleared it by six bars or 30 ore. Okay. So this, so I've got 45 defense. And set bonus says become immune after striking an enemy. So does that mean if I'm doing damage, I'm immune? That's pretty cool. I'm interested to test that out. And we got a deadly titanium repeater. So what we might do is go to the goblin. So it's going to cost us six gold to reforge it. You can tell straight away by the gold cost if it's improved or de <laughs> you know devolved. So it seems three gold means it's bad. Three and less. Okay, rapid. Oh, it's okay. It's not the best. Zealous. Oh, I've got six gold left. I think 
Unfortunately, until I can earn some more gold, I'm going to have to stick with my cobalt. I mean, uh, or a ritual can repeat her. So let's test pretty fast. There's not too much difference at this stage. Um, when I get the speed bonus, so if I can get an unreal titanium repeater, I'll upgrade then. Oh, okay. At least the farming is over for now. So I'll sell the breastplate. I still need the drill and I'll just keep the titanium repeater in my inventory. So, what next? Well, you might notice I've got three mechanical worms in my inventory. Which means the destroyer is coming up soon. Uh, I've made the... So I've made the mechanical worms, they're ready to go. What I now need to do is make an arena for it. So... I think this spot's going to be... Well, it's a bit close to my base though. I'll just see. I don't want to lose all my NPCs every time I fight it. Ooh, fallen star. So... Let's see, if we go over here a bit... Oh, there's an island here. Okay, I could use this flat... I've been using this as a tree farm. I could use this as the base of my... Yeah, this will work. It's nice and flat. I mean, I can farm trees any old place, so... It's not critical. It was more at the start of the game when I had real mobility problems. I wanted to be close to home. What on earth is those? Shadow Dodge. Oh. So. Wow. So is it when I get hit? No. Shadow Dodge. So how does it trigger? Maybe it's just when you're doing continuous damage for a while. I'll have to read up on the requirements to trigger it. But it seems like... I guess it'll be useful during boss fights. I suppose. Alright, so... Ah, oh, here it is. It's triggered again. Oh, it's still pretty handy. Alright, so my destroyer arena I use a lot is just simply you build a box off the ground. So your lower down one is usually larger, and then you have another one higher up. And I'll be honest with you, it takes a while to get the distance perfect because I'm not someone who measures everything. I was like, yeah, this is roughly how you build it. Alright, then you need an escape in the top, or two even. So you're going to need to make some platforms, and a mana star. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to get mana stars because if an item has uh, magic at damage, I'm not going to use it anyway. Maybe I'm just collecting for fun. Alright. Okay, the next thing you need in your arena is walls. Like this. And the point of the walls is it blocks the... It stops the destroyer's little probes from attacking you. Now, unfortunately, I don't know how this is going to work with a ranger. So it works fine with melee, but melee can attack through walls most of the time. So maybe if I spread them out a little bit more. Uh, one closer. There we go. And maybe one closer here. So that means I can be shooting the destroyer. No, it's going to have to go one back. So I can be just shooting it and hopefully not copping too many attacks from the probes themselves. Alright. 
Alright, way out through there. Let's put another one here for good measure. Alright, and then the next thing, so that's your first box. And this will keep you fairly safe from the destroyer's attacks. The next thing you want is a higher up box where it can't quite reach you. Uh, I'm just trying to remember how high I did it roughly. It's not too high. This will do. And this one's really small. Like really small. Because what you're hoping with this one is that the destroyer can't really reach you in this one. And this is more just for the start of the fight where you'll be sort of shooting down on it. So I usually make two like this so you can be shooting this side, you can be shooting that side. And then you guessed it, get rid of the stonework. Pirates? Oh, I'm not ready for pirates. Okay, uh, what I need to do quickly is get some more arrows. Alright. I mean, I'll try and do the pirate invasion. It's got some... Get some good loot, so might as well. Alright. What I might do... Is light this up quickly. So this is not a bad place to fight them. What I probably need to... Whoa. I fell through. Here come the pirates. I'm probably lacking a bit of damage. So you need to kill roughly 150 uh, monsters during an invasion. Did it say they're coming from the east or the west? I can't remember. Hello, pirates. Are they this way? Where have they gone? Hmm. Maybe they're near my base. Go back and check. Ah, here they are. I think they spawn near your spawn point. So if you want to make a good arena for them, you can move them backwards. Ah, pirate captain. Okay. So far, so good. Pirate Captain's going to take a beating. Hopefully I get the lucky coin, but last time I tried to get that item it took me 34 pirate invasions, so not holding my breath, guys. <laughs> 34, that's insane. What I probably need to do, make off camera is an arena, just with some lava in it and a few teleporters just to help uh, thin the numbers on these invasions. Although the archer is actually holding up okay here. So I'll just flatten this out while we're fighting it. Okay. Decent speed on the uh, uh, original Kim repeater as well, which is nice. I'm just glad I don't have to be manually clicking anymore. So the last bow of the game I'll be after is called the Pulse Bow. Whoa, okay, that got out of control fast. Ah, another pirate captain. Ah. Pirate captain's a bit strong for me at the moment. Like, I've got good armor, but not great armor. Ah, some shooting me. I need, like, a little wall or something. Hmm... It might make like a little... Is that cheap? 
Or is this just clever? <laughs> it's like a sniper hole. Ah, don't shoot me. Alright, how are we going for life? We're getting a bit low. Okay. You can keep them at range, it's actually quite manageable. Whoa. Well, I'm taking some serious damage from that. Whoever's got that flame attack. Come on. Ah, cursor. There should be an option to change the cursor size in this game. I find during invasions it can be hard to keep track of it. Okay. Yes, I definitely think I could make one here, a good arena. Just with some lava in it for now because obviously I can't get temple traps just yet. Uh, just, it would really help. Oh, why can't I shoot? I think my mouse is starting to go. I've had it for years, so I'm not surprised. Ah, yeah, it is. Okay, come on. Yeah. Ah, uh, the pirates don't despawn if you die. Something to note. Might have to go buy a new mouse tomorrow, I think. I got a sailor hat. Woohoo. Ah, another pirate captain. I might go back to my sniper hole. Ah. Okay. Come on, captain. Actually, have I got any jester arrows? I might swap to these hellfires. They are explosive. That's a bit better. I'm gonna make more of these. These are sweet. Uh, one thing to note, hellfire arrows will damage you if you get in their blast path. So be careful. Uh, I hope some cutlasses drop during this. You can get some items that drop during the pirate invasion that sell for quite a bit of cash. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. So many pirates! This is out of control. Just keep shooting. I kind of like how I'm restricting myself to ranger armor. I mean, it'd be easy just to wear the melee hat and, you know, really tank this, but I think it's kind of cheap. And, you know, I could be using guns right now, like the Mega Shark, but I think if you, you know, I like how we're just playing full Ranger. It makes it more fun. And I'm actually learning a lot about Terraria, too, like with potions and uh, gardening, because it kind of forced to. Is it turning into night already? We might go straight into the Destroyer after this, at this rate. All right. Uh oh. Okay, just need to. Have we got a campfire? Can I make one? Oh, yeah. That'll help. I don't see a massive difference with the regen uh, items like the campfire and heart lantern, but I don't know. I'll take their word that they work for it. Okay. Surely we've almost killed enough pirates. I feel like we've killed a lot. I wish there was like a counter or something during it that you could see. Kind of let you know how much more you've got to get through. That would be really cool. Okay, come on. Ah. So many. Oh, nice dodging skills. <laughs> I'd like to say I meant to do that, but I really didn't. 
Ah, a cutlass. Excellent. They sell for about five gold, which is awesome. Which actually, I might set up my... Oh no, I can't. I was going to say I'd set up the jungle ocean biome farm, but I can't do that till I beat Plantera. And get the temple key and etc, etc. Come on pirates, die. Come on for bullets. I'm still alright. I need to get the ammo box off the travelling uh, merchant, which gives you a 20% uh, chance not to consume arrow. Arrow. <laughs> ammo. <laughs> not to consume ammo. Arrow. Okay. Almost there. Remember that this pirate invasion spawned uh, naturally, and obviously I would have made better conditions for fighting it rather than all this uneven ground. This is probably why it's taking so long. I hope it's not despawning because I keep going off screen. Okay. Oh, finally, yes. Oh, no, don't die now, don't die now. How much gold did I get out of this? 40. Okay. Gotta fly for it. 2 HP. Cutting it fine much? Save me, campfire. Oh, man, that was close. And here they come. They're not letting me go just yet. So just because the uh, event ends doesn't mean all the minions will despawn. So you do need to finish off just the last few stragglers. That was actually pretty dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I think think we're good. Okay. Yes, done, done, dusted. Uh, it just looks like I got a bunch of the uh, golden pirate gear from that, so nothing too special. Uh, pirate gear. No, nothing special, unfortunately. Hmm, Cutlass is a really good item. For melee, for melee. Not for me. How much does it sell for? Five gold, awesome. So I pretty much just sell all the stuff that you get from the pirate invasion. Actually, I could use one of the beds for a spawn point. In fact, yeah. Um, if you want invasions to spawn in a better space, you need to reset your spawn point. So for example, I might turn under here into a trap zone. So if I put the bed there, oh, I need to put a wall behind it. Rats. Uh, actually, no, what I'll do is up here, I've done this before. If I put the bed there, just make some stone walls quickly. I only need about 40 for a room this size. Nope. 40, maybe. That should do it. Ooh, messy. Okay, calm down. So what this does is if you're fighting an invasion underneath and you get owned, um, it means you can respawn here and get straight back into the action. So say, you know, I'm fighting destroyer down here, it means I can respawn back up where all the fighting's happening. So yeah, I'll definitely, I reckon if we fill in some of this underneath here, then we can turn this little pit here into like a lava trap. So if I can get some more pirate maps, it means I can farm the pirate invasion for gold. So I can get like better uh, uh, modifiers on the equipment. I'm thinking, I'm not sure whether to go with damage or defense for destroyer. Um, it's a tough one. Obviously you want to take it out quickly. 
I might do a bit of research on arrows to use. I think Jester arrows are going to be the best because they hit multiple segments. Um, so yeah. So firstly, what could we... Probably this shield needs to be 4% damage. I like that. What's that got us up to? 57. Okay, this aglet's not on max. Let's see what else we can get on that. Actually, no, I might wait. If I go to the jungle, I only need a... It's like a necklace. And then you put the spectre boots, aglet, and necklace together to make lightning boots. So I might just hold off on wasting gold on that. Okay, uh, so where to from here, guys? Uh, basically, I'm going to go see if I can upgrade those boots before this fight. Um, and then, yeah, we'll take on the destroyer and start to get some of the... Uh, the more powered up gear, like hallowed armor, which, yeah, should give us a bit of a boost here. All right, so thanks for watching. Um, leave a like and a comment if you've enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, don't forget to stay happy, and I'll see you next game.